Hello, everyone. How are you? Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. So, as you can tell, I am in a low vibration. And um, in the middle of the process, as we, as I have already explained, that we usually do, going down, so then go up. And so I am going down, <laughs> you can tell. As I said at the beginning of this path, the whole path is about to connect with the process of towards the I am. And of course, it would be times um, that I would be like doing this process, even if we are doing this every day. Because we're doing this every day, you would see my process. So as you are able to see, this path of the I am is not only about explaining stuff, but mostly to share the process that I am going through and understanding each day. Even if I am like this, today is a really important day because today is the topic is Orion constellation. And Orion is, is built here in Giza. Um, so right now I am inside the constellation of Orion um, through the pyramids. So I will explain a little bit the constellation of Orion because it's, it's good to know it. <laughs> Today I cannot even <laughs> do the dots. So the constellation of Orion is the one that we can see like this in the in one of the hemispheres or like this in the other one. Um, so this constellation, uh, depending on the moment of the year, you can see it from the southern hemisphere or the northern hemisphere. So that's because it's a tropical uh, constellation. So um, it's really important constellation because uh, all the cultures in history used to see it. So they used this this constellation, which is the, the biggest one and the most well seen as, as a guide in the space. So everyone could relate the space according to the constellation. So because of this, this constellation be began, uh, became like the door between the heaven and earth for many, um, for many um, cultures. The most important star here is Mintaka, which is this one from here. And Mintaka means belt, because this is in Arab, because this is Orion's belt. Hmm? This constellation was called Orion for the Greek because it was a giant. This You have the legs of the giant, the body of the giant, the arms, the head, and also the sword of the giant that is made by the nebula of Orion. And nebula means clouds. So it's many stars all together that creates this image. All the stars of Orion are in in our neighborhood of stars. So they are in the Orion's arm in the galaxy. So around most of them around 200 light years <coughs> from here. The importance of Mintaka in the in the past is because it marked all the limits. Let's see if I can do it. Imagine that this is the horizon. The the frame of the of the screen is the horizon. So they used to say that from the horizon it was the first star rising up in the horizon. Hmm? And when it when the, the earth starts to move around and the sky turns, is the first one on setting on the horizon. Hmm? So 
here we have the Milky Way. Here we have Sirius, and then we have Pleiades. When it when it emerges from the horizon, you see the Milky Way, and it disappears again, and the first one on Saturn. So this star is really important because when the sky moves around and like this, when the sky moves around like this, this one, this star, is showing us exactly where is the east when it rises. So it says, oh, that's the east because it is it's going up. So it divides the east and then it points the west, where is exactly the west. Okay, it's pointing there. Perfect. So now we have east and west. But also what we have here is that when we have it in the middle, it also divides the north of the sky, which is all this region, and from the from here <coughs> we have the south. So this star here was the one pointing east, west north and south. So this is why also the Orion was known as the most important portal, because the stars were like the keys to open every space and every time. Because of this, because of being the key between time and space, remember that the ancient ones were trying to open those portals in between every dimension here on the planet, so they had to download all that information, that data from above here below. So they started to build the stars on the Earth. And that's why <coughs> we have um, Orion's constellation as pyramids or temples or stone circles all over the world, like the pyramids of, of China, in the Middle East, uh, here in Egypt, um, the, the stone circles in Europe, uh, the pyramids of Mexico. Uh, many places in the world are aligned with Orion. So Orion is the door. And now let's do this. I will I make it a line crossing the stars of Orion, and I will see that if I do a straight line, one of them is outside. It's not straight in in a line. Maybe from another systems you see the three stars like this. Remember that we have spoken about this, that one thing is the constellation, which is a perception from our point of view, uh, from Earth, and the other thing is the position that they take in the galaxy. Mm -hmm. So, as I was saying, this beautiful structure that anyone can just point in the sky if you watch it, um, this structure uh, is only seen like this from the point of view of humans. So from this solar system. So for other um, for other systems, it's not like this. The portal of Orion is important for us because we are the only place with consciousness that can see the portal followed by the, the Aurex spiral. Mm -hmm. From this point of view, this star that is moved from the line is pushing us to the door and we follow the the spiral to find it if um so this means that instead of going in a straight line we are following this structure so so this spiral that we see like this is in numbers is seen like this, which is the ratio number of the auric spiral, which is to have this list of numbers and you sum you sum the next one. So one plus one, two, two plus one, three, three plus two, five, five plus three, eight, eight plus five, thirteen and so on. If we expand this spiral 12 times, we have 144. So this, this number, it's eternal, 
Okay, it keeps going, it keeps going. But um, but in our system, in order to open the door, we need to open it 12 times. And 12 times means the path of our zodiac signs. So we have 12 constellations that lead us to open this door. And when we open this door, we achieve the 144, which is a number that I already explained many times what it means, the multidimensional being being the 144. So I invite you to look into that in other videos. What this says here is that once you accomplish to reach the 144, what you are doing is to open the door to your 144, which is to connect to yourself in different dimensions. So this means that this cell that is Matthias in the body of the cosmos is able to open a door between itself in different times and, and spaces to communicate with other cells of myself in other levels. So imagine that I am a cell of a kidney in the universe. And because of this, I am going to be able, through this portal, I'm going to be able to go and talk to the cell of Matthias' cell in the heart, in the stomach. <laughs> what I'm explaining, I guess, is very uh, important, but because I'm kind of depressive, it doesn't sound really, <laughs> really amazing. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so what I was saying in Spanish um, uh, is that Remember that we are the cosmos. The cosmos is, works exactly like like a physical body. So imagine that each one of the cells in your body is like a living being in the cosmos, and uh, every cell lives in one world, in one dimension, um, in one different reality, which is a system of your body, an organ on, on your body. And also remember that uh, we spoke about this that the particles are only one vibrating in different realities. So when you accomplish to go through all the process of the 12, your particle starts to vibrate better um, in a high vibration. So you are able to connect with your higher self in every dimension. So you are going to be able to communicate with the cells in the brain and the, in the heart of the cosmos in different dimensions and to download information, to channel, to connect. So the ancient ones, they said, because we are so far from these portals, we're not gonna get into that, it's so difficult. So maybe we have to build the stars on the ground. And that is to bring heaven on earth, which is Atartumti, the ancient plan of Atlantis. And that's why we are here, because we started to open these doors, these portals through the stars, so we can download higher consciousness beings into worlds that were in the process of evolution. So, of course, that when we started to create, to manifest through the portals, it was like downloading all this data from other dimensions, like many cells creating, manifesting. And of course, like in anybody, some cells want much more. And that's what we call cancer, which is that there were some beings that instead of finding the source of energy in themselves, they started to look the energy in others. And this distorted the body. So there is the moment when the immunological system appears with the white cells that we call the white brotherhood and the warriors of light, light warriors. And then the body started to react and evolve and they created aware beings that we call proteins and now we recognize as the galactic confederation
this is the and also many other cells decided to leave the system so we could evolve and adapt to the virus and transcend and that is all of us trying to leave the system to leave the organs and uh, trying to evolve becoming aware by leaving the virus hmm? and how does a cell for not to become a cancer cell well we have to that cell has to be coherent to refer to the self so sometimes we are not really um, aware about this but in our body we are constantly creating and destroying we have billions of cells being born every day and dying every day exactly as we do many beings and people dying and many beings and people being born so the system inside ourselves is something really wonderful um, that we can, could relate with the outside every cell that is dying in our body is just writing like a like a book where all the explanations are written of what were their experiences so when that cell has lived all the experiences possible the cell will will say i can't do it i can't do it anymore my my energy is wasting but the information is here so i can give it to the next cell and another cell absorb that information absorb that information so it can act evolving in the next level so really no cell is dying they are just going inside another cell they are nourishing with information the next one and that's what we call reincarnation so that's the reincarnation it's something that we do every day of course that in this system some cells like cells from the intestine they are able to communicate to open themselves to download information from cells from the heart from the brain communicating with with a neuron or something like that so they can download that information to the intestines but not for the intestines to become the heart or the brain is basically for the intestines to know that they are not alone that the cells in the intestines are part of something really much bigger so they can work relying on the rest so that's why every one of us has a specific goal and a place in all this which is basically to to restore to correct the distortion and the distortion is that it's a disease is a is a cancer yeah now the question would be why do we need the distortion why the distortion happened and now we have to correct it well it's not exactly like that the distortion was needed otherwise nothing would exist the reason why a human exists different from a tree different from an animal all these amazing things that we have created the beauty of the universe is all because is all because of distortion all because of distortion Distortion is the one helping you to evolve. So nobody really evolve without distortion. So why do we need to correct the distortion? 
because the only way to find balance in the evolution, harmony is by coherence. So distortion is evolution, but to reach harmony in evolution, we need coherence. So the reason why we are trying to look for coherence and harmony is because the only way to evolve is by distortion. But if you only follow distortion, you will reach destruction. So in order to find balance in the creation, you need coherence, which brings harmony in that distortion. See? And Orion is that door, the portal through where the distortion came into our system and through where we can find harmony. So this is why the ancient ones built the heaven on earth. So humans could walk through the stars and to make the initiatic path to find the coherence in the path, walking each one of the ways until we can reach the divine inside one of the stars, inside the pyramid. So remember, all the situations of distortion in our life are the ones that bring us emotions of feeling uncomfortable. And you find harmony when you feel plenty. So would be when the same circumstance provoke me um, feeling uncomfortable and the same situation provoking me plen plenty plen plenitude <laughs> feeling plenty. <laughs> it must be the same situation so I can identify it. So I invite you to read the post um, because I think it's, in, it's very interesting because you can see the, the, the latest part of the, of the post starts to be like um, all explanations and sentences from the Bhagavad Gita. So it's, it's important to read it many times. So I hope you understand that uh, it's really difficult for me to make a summary of all this, knowing that there is so many, so much information that I can talk about, but I have to be as much as neutral as possible uh, for you to have at least the basis and then you use it for your own things. So I cannot go into the deepest questions of many. So I would ask for those who understood what I said to help the others that have some questions um, to help them solve. Thank you. So as yesterday, today we are going to do exactly the same. We will do the alignment with the music, uh, but I'm not going to guide. I will do the alignment from by myself. And so I invite you to, to, to imagine, to use your own ways to, to work with this in a, in a much more Aquarian way. The vibration for today is Lu, Lu. The statement for today is I am word of creation. The code for today is Earth in the aspect of crystal diamond. 
in the third aspect of Earth Trinity are the purest um, minerals of carbon and silica that generate the purity on the highest pressure of all, connected to the physical body aspect. This is a result of the highest pressure of time and space, the greater the gravity, condensation and pressure, the most pure and perfect the final result. The purest crystal and diamonds are this way, the physical anchor of the beauty of the spirit and the soul on the earth. So let's go to the alignment today. Thank <laughs> you. 
thank you everybody for being here, for being part. We'll see you tomorrow at the same time. <laughs>